Hey guys, it's me, I am Volk Wolf. Welcome to another Sims 4 video. This time, we're doing a tutorial with the Sims 4 werewolves. And it's, and it's all about how to activate, um, where is it? Um, if you go into Simology and if your, um, kid it has werewolf parents, you will have dormant wolf trait or greater wolf blood. But if you have dormant wolf trait, that means, you know, you're not fully werewolf, so you have to activate it through another mean. So that means you can't, you know, do it on your own yet. Um, so... So, if you have the uh, Lunar Epiphany... If you have the Lunar Epiphany uh, dormant ability on one of your, one of your werewolf characters, um, you can decipher what's on this Mooncaster pot shard, and it has to be turning in order to get a good idea of what you have to do. So, this is what you have to do. The one entry on the list that is circled. If you're at least a teen sim, and you're a dormant wolf, and you want to activate it, on a full moon night, you must go to the to Lake Lundvik, which is the lake that is right over in this area. So right around here, you gotta swim in it, and eventually you'll awaken it. You'll see this just about now, because, um, wait, where the fuck is my house? Okay. <laughs> So let's go! Actually, let's pause it because, you know, autonomy can sometimes get in the way. I want you to swim. I want you to swim around in this. And we are going to follow... We are going to follow Naomi here. Don't worry about Rory, she's gonna be fine. Um, Fulgari's asleep. This is this is actually the first save file that I made with The Sims 4 Werewolves before I introduced Cornell into the game. So, this is how you awaken it. Just swim around. And, and you'll know it's good. And you know, and you'll know you got it when um, the team gets enraged and turns. Yep, there she goes. There she goes. She's about to turn. So doing it at around this time, um, that means that you have unlocked beast power. Or yes. Yes, beautiful beast. Watch out, Naomi is transforming! <coughs> but, unfortunately, the fur color doesn't get carried over when it comes to genetics. Like, you see Rory's fur, you would think that she would be a mix of mother and father. Apparently not, because that's not how the fur genetics work in this game. So, very unrealistic and very sad. So I guess we're gonna have to, like, tweak with that and create a sim. But at least, but at least she has... She has the father's, um, nose dot. Yeah, that's, that's the tutorial if you want to unleash the beast within, if you're a dormant wolf. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it informing on, and I hope it helped to, for the most, for the most important part. Um, if you want to see more videos such as gaming, vlogs, or free content, hit like and subscribe. Don't want to miss anything, hit that notification bell to get notified of all new content heading your way. 
And this has been I.I. Voltage Wolf, and I will see all of you in the next session. Goodbye, Pac-Mates.